Back in Syracuse as the Crunch gets set for the Rochester Americans. Final game of the weekend for the Crunch. Second home game in a row here for Syracuse. I count out a Crunch time presented by Supercuts. I'm Lucas Favalli with Crunch head coach Ben Grew. Ben, last night the Crunch here at home picked up a 5-0 victory over the Binghamton Devils. Pretty solid performance for the Crunch. What did you see here last night? We had a great start. thought we, uh, we played with confidence all game long. And uh, overall, just just a very good performance. It was uh, really a complete game. I mean, you allowed just two shots in that first period, uh, 18 shots total in the game against uh, against Binghamton. Uh, what was maybe the most impressive thing for you from uh, last night's game? I think we were uh, two guys on puck all night long. Um, second effort hockey club. So it's it's uh, and then we saw guys like try to get better in the tree zone. So. It's, it's something that we preach every day, and uh, it's good for us as a coaching staff to see that uh, our guys are, are, uh, are progressing and they're getting better. And you had a really good trio there last night. Mitchell Stevens, Alex Barry, Belay, and Carter Verhage, all three of those guys who were on a yeah. line last night ended up with a goal. Uh, what was, uh, what would you like out of that line there last night? They have a lot of different, uh, different mix in that line. The speed, the skills, the playmaking. So uh, I think they complement uh, themselves very well, and uh, they they were probably the the best line on the ice last night. Yeah, Carter Verhage had a three-point game. Mitchell Stevens as well, and that was his first game back in over a month. Uh, so really impressive to see the goal and two assists for Mitchell Stevens in his first game back. What'd you see from him? As you know, hadn't played in a while. He was great, and you know what? You you gotta give the player credit because he's uh, when you when you watch him every day coming to the rink, and how serious he invests in his uh, rehab and uh, the way he works in the gym. Um, my hats off to to Mark Powell to uh, Chavi, like those guys are unsung heroes for me. Like they they've been busy this year. Yeah. And uh, every time we have a player sideline, uh, the work they do every day, and uh, when the player's coming back, they're always ready. They always feel good physically and mentally. So credit to the player, to Mitch and uh, Mark and uh, Chavi. Yeah, Mitchell Stevens really looked great last night. Like you said, those two have been really busy, Mark Powell and Brad Chavis. And, and for Mitchell Stevens, kind of a different perspective for him the last month, being, you know, watching the games yeah. sideline with an injury. And you, you mentioned earlier this year, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll sit a guy just so they get a different perspective. So yeah. obviously not ideal for him being out over a month, but do you think maybe a little different perspective is, is good for him for a stretch there? Yeah, probably. And you know what? Maybe put a lot of pressure on him at the beginning of the year and gave, the, gave him the time to put things in perspective. And uh, I, like when you watch him every day, you, you, you had the feeling that he, he was ready. He was ready mentally, was excited to come back and uh, always surprised to see a guy having three points in his first game, but uh, not surprised by his performance overall. Yeah, the Crunch winning last night, five to nothing over Binghamton. It's their fifth straight win over the Devils. Crunch's point streak now up to 13 consecutive games. Last night it was a shutout for Connor Ingram, 18 saves, so not overly busy, but kind of one of those tough games for him. Only two shots in the first period, but was sharp and had to make some tough saves as the game went along. So what did you see from him there last night as he was mentally in it all game? And, and like you mentioned, he was sharp, even though he was not tested, but he... He had to make two, three stops that were were, were not easy. And uh, I like the fact that he kept his focus for 60 minutes. And he's, he's, he's been an important part of uh, this team since uh, we're um, going with one goalie. So uh, it's good to see that from Connor showing maturity. And he's got a good test again tonight. Yeah, it's the Rochester Americans tonight for the Crunch. Rochester leads the North Division, one of the best teams in the American Hockey League. It's only the third time that the Crunch have seen the Amherst uh, here this year. We'll get to them in a moment. But back to, to what the Crunch have done so well here at home. It's a seven-game winning streak for the Crunch here at home ice. Uh, offensively, things have been going well. But it's, it's as we kind of discussed here throughout the last couple of weeks, really the depth scoring for this team. It's not, I mean, last night the one line was great, but you get contributions from up and down the lineup. How, uh, how important is that for this team as you continue to move forward? Well, when you, when you get Dennis Young producing and then you get Archambault who uh, didn't score last night but he had great chances and then you had Taylor Radish and Russ Colton and Boris Kachuk and Brass 
uh, they, they bring a lot to the table and uh, when everybody's going it's easy for a coach to to use everyone and it's good for the momentum it's good for the confidence it's it's good for the bench because you you have everybody involved everybody's going so it's it's a key like uh, in a long season like that you need everybody to contribute and we know that some guys will go through some ups and down but overall i think we we we've been consistent the last month and uh, it's good to see that and it's got to continue yeah and as a coach i'm sure it is like you were kind of just mentioning there you, you have the confidence in all of those guys on the bench to throw out there at any point so how how much does that help you as you're looking to either set up matchups or just roll guys on the ice you know what early in the season i was as a coach you you, you want to you want to develop that trust with your players. You want to. You don't want to go out there, especially on the road. You don't want to go out there and feel that you have to protect this guy and this guy and this line against certain lines. And more and more, I feel that I, I can use the the third or fourth line, the younger guys, against the top lines on the other side because they they have more confidence in themselves. They they know they play better in our zone. They're they're better players in the three zone overall. So. It's good to see that, and uh, it, it's it's not consistent enough yet, but it's much better than it was. Richard are getting set for the Rochester Americans. We're here on Countdown to Crunch Time, presented by Supercuts with Crunch head coach Ben Grew. And as we said, it's only the third matchup of the season against the Amherst, but a, a really tough team. Crunch have not won yet against Rochester. Last game was that uh, thrilling overtime loss in Rochester about a month ago. Like we said, really good team. What do the Amherst bring to the table that's so challenging? They have a lot of depth, good group of defensemen, good goalie. They, they can score goals, so they're, they're well balanced, they're well coached, and, uh, you know, they're not in first place uh, by uh, by chance. It's uh, it's a well-rounded team. When you watch them play, they don't make many mistakes. you, you got to go after them, and you got to beat them. And uh, it's something that we, we want to bring the table tonight here. We want to start that game, dictate the tempo of the game, and uh, see how it plays out. All right, looking forward to tonight as the Crunch take on the Rochester Americans. This is Crunch head coach Ben Grew. Ben, thanks for your time, and good luck tonight. All right, thanks.